Greetings, members, one and all of the Salvation Nation. We are live and in effect, and I report to you from behind this plastic microphonic device to bring you, well, this live stream. Surprise, surprise, indeed. Hope everybody is doing well tonight. Yes, indeed, and had a good week. Very good to see Jamie Foxx is here. In fact, he was first being here. And Global Warmer is a close second with a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Right now, the starting gate with a thumbs up. He was the first thumbs up. Very cool. Good to see you guys. Grow Mechanic is here. Hello, Grow. Good to see you. Blue says, let's explore. All right. Very good. Nice. All right. Even though he thought he was first, but not quite, didn't quite make it. Good to see you. All right. Welcome, Mark Medlin, Jamie Foxx. Good to see you. Savoy Truffle is here. Yes, indeed. Jeff Crumpler is here. Hello, Jeff Crumpler. And Sea Monkey Metals is here. Hello, I think he's new here. Good to see you. And Terry is here. Good to see Terry. Welcome. Let me get my boilerplate. Very good. All right. Very good. Rock and roll. Who needs rock and roll, Blue? We want metal. That's right. Exactly. All right. Silver Surfer is peeking through the window. Good to see Silver Surfer. Mm. As I slurp and I and I take my knife and uh, cut into the direction of my well-being. All right, very good. Xeller8 is here. Hello from Nevada. Welcome, or Nevada. I'm saying that right. Good to see JM and Lucas Galagos. Good to see you. Robert M's, Robert P is here. Some, some new folks here. All right, very good. Let's get into what Hastur of Carcosa says on this video, $46,000 in cash found at home from 1950. What if it was gold and silver video? He says the U.S. dollar is definitely going the route of the Confederate uh, dollar. Um, not even fit for burning, ultimately. Quite toxic. It seems governments simply can't be trusted to support standards of value in stable economies. They're always attempting to extract value from the population rather than grow it. Good point. A very good point. <clears throat> That's right. They don't trust the free market, and they don't trust sound money, mainly because they want the power for themselves to manipulate and and the like. But yes, indeed. Hello, Dale Val. Good to see you. All right. Well, today was Thursday. All right. Well, then, Dale, yes, indeed. I'm glad the notice came through. Welcome. I'm glad you're here, Dale. Good to see you, sir. And Gold Chicks correctly states in this video, the mint sucks. I tell you what, these new Silver Eagles are pretty disappointing as far as the quality is concerned. Um, you know, take away from the design, the quality of them is about like the last ones. They're just not the best. And they could be so much better. I know they make a lot of them, but still. Hello, Slayer Stacker. Good to see you. Solid 10, Sal. Says, clean money. Thank you, sir. All right, as we march our way up through here. They look like uh, they're more easier to fake. Yeah. The new ones, I'll tell you what, they do, um, they don't look like they're, they definitely don't have the appearance of being um, more difficult to fake, that's for sure. All right, Eric Hoffner is here. Hello, Eric, good to see you, sir. Welcome, glad you're here. And Silver Honda says, congratulations to Tampa Bay Lightning for winning the Stanley Cup. Congratulations. Sorry, I didn't pay attention. I'm not a huge uh, sports guy, but anyways. Subtle Reed says, don't be afraid, salivation man, saliv salivation, you are walking in fear. All right, do not be afraid. All right, there you go. Now, I don't I don't deal in fear, indeed. <clears throat> All right, told somebody in the Reddit forums who thought I was uh, preaching FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And it's like, nope. Don't have any of that stuff. All right. Super Diddy 555, not a secondary feature. Um, this is a did I discover an error? I have plenty of those coins, and mine are all perfect over the T. It is an error on your coins. Okay, all right, very good. But it could be that the uh it could be a secondary security feature on some, or maybe your mark is somewhere else. I will look at the whole rim to see if that's the case. All right. And Goldman Sachs, that's right. Of course, you know, here they are saying that gold is no longer a store of value, even though it's in their name. That's right, Pistol Pack and Pilot. <clears throat> Raven's R Roll Top. 
It will be around long after GS is bankrupt. Value that. That's exactly right, Raven. It will outlast any bank. Hello, VT Rider. Good to see you. Forgot we were alive. So it looks like some of the notifications are going out slowly but surely for some folks. But yes, indeed. All right. <clears throat> Todd Weavitt says, Goldman Sachs drinks uh, too many martinis, uh, not only during lunch breaks, but during the workday. Don't trust anyone or anything who wants to control the public. That's right. That's exactly right. Anthony Soldaro, I don't like it. The head down defeated eagle is most likely an omen. Yes, and I don't like that either. And that's what it looks like. Poor optics on that for sure. Good evening, VT Ryder. Good to see you. Uh, let's see here. CCT says, I was done with lining the banksters' pockets over a decade ago. And just like governments, you have to take everything they say with a pinch of salt. And that's it. more than I would take it. I would just take it for a grain of salt. But yes, indeed. Thank you, CCT. Uh, Quentin Seth Jr. says, like that and like this and like that. Uh-huh. Love it. Hey, thank you. All right. There you go. You got it, brother. Yes, indeed. You got it. All right. Very good. Moving up. SoCal Silver. Do what they do. Do the opposite of what they say to do. That's right. That's really what it boils down to. All right. Todd Weavitt says, other pieces missing as well in the coin. Seen on your camera, not as obvious as you're fine. Oh, interesting. Okay. I'll have to look closer on other parts of the read. But that is a very strange uh, error. That's the case. All right. Very good. Let's see here. Todd Weaver says, fourth coin down right of the base security mark, okay? Of course, in that video, I don't I don't have them arranged that way, so I don't know how to reference that on my pieces, but I've got some of them here. And I don't see, of course, it could be a spot too. Um, you know what, let's see here. On this coin here, I'm looking at it. I'm just checking it out right now real quick. Need to do a drinking show again. Yeah, I will. I will definitely do it, uh, do another one. I've got actually some beer, some different kind of beer that I could use for that. Stay tuned. Now, I'm not seeing any other place. Maybe I'll send these into PCGS to get, to get that graded. Coffee's brewing the silver sliver. All right. All right, good to see Robert E. Lee. Welcome. Good to see you. Here is a crappy. If any of my moderators see these spam comments, I think you can delete them too. If I'm not mistaken. Gas Grill, if a man called Goldman tells us not to buy gold, buy gold. There you go. Exactly. Exactly right. Uh, BNIBCD says, well, he has gold in his name, so we should probably know what he's talking about. Yes, indeed. <laughs> That's right. Very good. Hello, Coins A to Z. Good to see you, sir. Welcome. And this is on the Type 2 American Silver Eagle unboxing. Hopefully, my MS-70 and Proof will be rolling in soon. Hopefully so. Oh, the Proof, they haven't, they're not available to order yet, but they will be, I think, next week. Or the 20th, I think. People should not take note of the empty talk emitted from time to time by the banksters. As a side note, too bad the 50 pesos gold coin is not shown among... This small treasure, the 50 pesos, is the most beautiful gold coin ever existed. It is a nice coin. Yes, indeed. All right, very good. Drink Crown Royal. Really would be funny show. Yes, indeed, it sure would be. All right, very good. Sal's gals make the Salivate Metal channel great again. They sure do. Mm. Did I just hear BBC? Oh, I don't know. I don't. This is not a BBC uh, con uh, broadcast, sadly. Sorry. Yes, indeed. Hello, I'm here. CCT, I reported this spam comment on your video several times. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate you doing that. Definitely. Savage Stacker says, they sure don't want us to hold on to this stuff. Uh, that is, I feel like they really don't want us saving our wealth in a form they can't control. With that said, time to buy some more gold and silver. There you go. Exactly. Do the opposite of what they say and do what they do. That's right. Very good. I try to do a shot every time I slurp. 
And every time I say yes, indeed, here we go, all together now. Mm -mm. Ah, yes, indeed. Mm, very, very good. Going to get you guys drunk before the next, within the next five minutes. Because yes, indeed, here's another comment from Numismatic Stacker. Gold is like weight training. You want to see gains. That's exactly right. Good analogy. It's right. All right. And Dorsey Chan says, um, they don't want us to have any real assets. Keep on diversifying y'all's assets. That's right. I'm on diversifying. Uh, let's see here. Very good. And Silver Damsel says, those gaps in the reeds are placeholders for microchips. Due to the technology shortages, chips were not able to be produced, but will come out at a later date when availability opens up. But right now, the focus is on getting cars manufactured, so maybe next year before we say coin with a chip. You know, that's an interesting uh, concept, um, uh, for sure. And they might recall all the old ones to say, hey, we need your coins back to put the chips in. Kalonic Stacker with an MMA matchup. Patriot Jim Jordan versus the entire Norwegian death metal band Gorgoroth. Well, I've heard of Gorgoroth. They're a pretty good band, but uh, they're probably Slaytanic, considering that they are from Norway. Gorgoroth, you know, that is actually a... Gorgoroth is actually a obscure Lord of the Rings reference. But they are a Norwegian black metal band. And considering that Jim Jordan from Ohio is a is a is a wrestling coach and a wrestler in his own right, and is definitely in shape, uh, I am going to have to give this to Jim Jordan. Uh, yay, though Jim Jordan probably has no idea who the band Gorgoroth is, or probably does not listen to death metal. Yay, though he should listen to death metal. All right, all right, there you go. Uh, JD is slurping some ginger ale with me. All right, very good. All right. Hmm. All right. Terry has told Coins A to Z to get his act together. That's right. I wonder if Coins A to Z would consider Terry79 a Sal's gal. I wonder if Terry79 would consider herself a Sal's gal. Hello, bird watcher spotter. Good to see you. Uh, 143 Druid is here. Uh, good to see you, Druid. I hope that wasn't your thumbs down, by the way. If it was, please turn it upside down. Put it on the thumbs up side, please, for me. Federalist Silver says, in my opinion, this whole coin is an error. <laughs> yes, I understand. Oh, man, I'm not a, I'm not the biggest fan of the eagle. Mark Nordgaard, that's why gold and silver crashing down after this week rise. Soon down $50 from top yesterday, and next week for sure down more. And below last week's low. Well, actually, they've kind of gone up a little bit today. But yes, indeed. Shan is here. Hello, Shan. Good to see you. Welcome. All right. Dynamite sticks in TNT. It says dynamite on this one. That's quite appropriate for your um your name there. Very good. Appreciate it. Break from the herd. See, they've already made type two fakes already. I bought one of these and I'm very sorry I did. The reverse is not as good as I expected. The new gold eagle reverse is just plain odd. It's like a two headed coin. It's crazy. All right, very good. All right, let's see here. Druid, did you take that thumbs up down away? Take it away. Take it away. Take that thumbs down away, if that's you. Pandora's box, an agenda behind banks? Nah, never, 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 never. Okay, let's see here. Moving ahead, we've got Pandora's box saying they don't want us peasants buying gold because the monetary system is about to implode. It's going to implode soon, and we shall see. All right. Value equals things inherent properties such as industrial artistic. Does gold ever lose industrial um, properties? No. Does gold ever lose its beautiful luster or its dense theft or heft? No. So then gold contains value, which is never loses one purchase of gold, trading, fading paper for eternal value. One stores value. Clearly, intelligence is not a requirement in the banking sector. Yes, good point. I'm pretty sure. Terry79 could be considered the iconic sales gal, don't you think? If she would submit photos for the sales gal calendar, yes. I think that would distinguish her. Or she would just send me a freaking email. And even a single email so they know she's not a bot. You know what I mean? Um... Uh, Well, I don't know. Gringo, I can't wait for California to follow suit. 
All right. Well, I think he'll be waiting for a long time, unfortunately. Mark Kaufman says, good video, sir. Thank you so much, Mark. Mr. Kaufman, I appreciate that. Rocky Superstar is here. Good to see Rocky. Welcome, my friend. Very good to see you. All right. Uh, let's see here. Okay, Druid took us thumbs down away. Thank you, Druid. I appreciate that. All right. Very good. Come on, man. He says, anyone, anyone, anyone? Um, where's Alan Cole? Please don't let uh, Lynn Alden be a sales gal. Lynn Alden. I don't know who Lynn Alden is, but we know who Alan Gold is. Don't worry about that. Um, we will not let Alan Gold be a sales gal for sure. John Snit says, awesome. Thank you, my friend. More silver is coming video. I feel sneeze coming on, but it hasn't made its way up to the breadths of my nasal cavity quite yet. But if it does, you'll be the last to know because it will be a 30-second delay between the time I sneeze and you hear the sneeze. I think it just went away, so we're good to go. Probably could have gone out with not even mentioning that. Silver Honda. Good to see Silver Honda, who drives a blue Honda. He commented last on this video. All right. All right. And Richard Cranium is here. Hi. 143 Druid says, meh. I don't know if that... Oh, man. If, oh, there's another thumbs down. What the heck? Come on, man. Don't thumb me down. Don't thumb me down. Bruce. Don't thumb me down. Boris Buliak says, Thanks, Al. I really got quite the chuckle with the boys at Goldman. Totally opposite of what the big says. I'll take what the BIS says over the little thieving banksters. Couldn't care less about the price of gold and silver daily. Although I look, I care where it will be in five years. Don't care now or a year or two from now except to buy dips. And thanks to the banksters at JP and Goldman for the shorts. All right, very good. Thank you, sir. All right. Very good. Okay. Now there's two thumbs down. What the heck is going on with you people? Come on, man. Unthumb that. There we go. Take it away. Take that thumb down away. Take the other way. I'm just here to hide from Terry79. Andy Benjamin is here. All right. To hide from Terry79. All right. God bless you, says Angel Luller, because I did sneeze in this video. Thank you, Angel. All right. Very good. Truthful Troll is here. Good to see Truthful Troll. Eric Hoffner still with us. Silver Honda says, love your Libertad and American Silver Eagle Type 2 display. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, sir. Appreciate you. Dog Dog says, um, hey, Sal. Have you got any emails for this new online company, Bullion Max? It looks legit, but I'm not sure. They have an introductory deal for 20% off the premium for a Valcambi bar. Um, yes, I've seen those two. Um, new, yeah, might have to take your chances, maybe. But always be careful with new dealers. Slater Stacker, bless me. Thanks, Slater Stacker. I think he's here with us. Price of gold will go down when everyone sees the type two. I have that coin on order. You'll see it when I unbox it. Several other channels have already unboxed it. Algorithm food from Martin Olson. And essentially the same with the greeting from my kitten as a black belt. Thank you, both of you gentlemen. Those do help for sure. James O'Neill Brown. I'm drinking Cafe Bostello Cuban Espresso. Great stuff, all right, and he made it. If I remember correctly, I told him to watch this live stream uh, to answer his question. So I did remember that part, but I forgot uh, what the exact question was. So James, um, if you can mention the question again, I will answer it here. Good to see Starbuck Jeff in coins. Good to see you. Hello. I think he's new here too. Welcome. Good to see you guys. All right. Very good. Hello, Johnny B. Good to see you. Uh, Valencia, hiccup, sneeze. What comes next? Always enjoy the content. Thank you, Valencia. Yes, got to have a little fun, even within the videos. I try to be a little more serious in the videos, but I have fun in there, too. TNT Cycles is here. Thank you. Thank you, Blue. Appreciate it. Loves the live streams. Boris Buliak, I'll even take nickel. All right, very good. All right, nice. I'll take nickel. Uh... 
Not asked yet, okay? It was something you asked in the comment section, but anyways. But just mention my name so that I make sure that I can see it, James. If you type my name out uh, with no space in between, it'll turn red and I'll be able to see it. Uh, gold is money. All of you know the rest. That's right. There you go. Let's get to this here. Hey, thank you so much, Starbuck. Jeff, yes, indeed. This thumbs up certainly do help. Appreciate it. John Puckett says, I heard Endeavor Silver was holding into a lot of those uh, silver wedding for higher prices. Ah, maybe so. You never can know. Uh, Denny Abroad, if you check the website on the IMF, gold is a store of value. We talk here about the IMF, not a private bank. So for me, gold is definitely a store of value. A long store, if value. That's right, Denny. Yes, interesting. I'll have to check that out. I didn't know that that and their website listed it as a store of value. But, you know, when you think about it, they better because all these central uh, banks, all these central banks uh, are storing it, right? So it's obvious it's a store of value. Jose Benito Martinez says, um, As a teenager, I lived in the silver area of Mexico, the birthplace of the Mexican independence, the now UNESCO World Heritage Site Guanajuato City, founded in 1548. Puro Plata, si senor. Nice, Jose. That is awesome. That's right, 143 butthead, right. <laughs> Shut up. I'm a better butthead than I'm a peevis. <clears throat> and you would think I'd be a better peevis. But I'm actually a better butthead. <laughs> All right, I hope that'll earn me a thumbs up instead of a thumbs down. And should. Good to see Sheep Network now is here. Good to see you. Bill 457. Got the new Silver Eagle and did a video on it. Check. All right, I'll check that out, Bill. So check out Bill 457's channel. He did a video on the new Silver Eagle. He got it too. Nice. All right. Ah, very good. Let's get up here to the Global Warm Room with a thumbs up on this video. More silver is coming from seven hours ago. Great video, said Kuna Coins. Thank you, Kuna Coins. Appreciate you. One is the loneliest number that you will ever see. That's why one is the loneliest number that you'll ever see. That's exactly how they sing it, too. I mean, word for word. Inflection, exactly right. Pro-grade painting. Those new silver eagles look just horrible. It's like I'm looking at one of the new quarters. Yeah. Um, actually, I like kind of like the new quarter. Uh, the one him crossing the Delaware, but anyways, very good. All right, uh, let's see here. Sal, do you do a good impression of Beavis and ba Oh, you do. Oh, well, thank you, Truthful Troll. Appreciate that. Oh man. All right, J M says consider the phrase "cold hard cash." Um, yes, that is a phrase. Digital and paper currencies are not cold or hard. That's true. That's what she said. Physical monetary metals. Silver, gold, and platinum are cold and hard, so they are the real cash. There you go. Exactly. Good point, J.M. Very good point. All right. Very good. Hello to the saint. The saint is here. All right. Very good. Obverse has a light strike. All right. Let's see here. Do a Hank Hill. Is that you boys walking off of my tool shed back there? <clears throat> I'll take a large fry pie and coffee. <sighs> Uh, <clears throat> Hugo Boss, good to see you. Uh, MVL9591, the miners mine silver, the refiners refine silver, and the stackers stack silver. Life goes on. Exactly right. That's true. That's very true. You're right, MVL9591. Silver is cold unless you stick it in your pants. That's true, VT Rider. Very true. I need DP from my bunghole. <clears throat> All right. 99 tears, tears for fears, 99 balloons for tears for fears. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Johnny B says, great information. Thanks for sharing, Sal. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, very, very good. What's your prob, says the SMFO is coming from the proven liars of the compromised mainstream media, right? It's actually from a silver uh, mine, Endeavor Silver's Mining. 
It's their press release from right from there. Our Starbucks Nick Jeff Nichols says here in the chat, "What do you think of them putting the old Washington design back in the 2021 quarter?" Um, with the old Washington design, oh yeah, um, it's just for one year. I think they could have been a little more creative and put a a, a new uh, portrait there. We've been there, done that, just like what they did with the Monticello nickel. They could have chosen the original Monticello nickel. Um, and uh, but yeah, it's uh, I think that that you know, but in 2022 they're going to have a new design, uh, Laura Fraser's original design. All right, let's see what Silversmith. Let me get to this where I can. I need to do this and I need to do that and I need to figure this out here. What's going on? Okay, here we go. Let me go. Let me go over here. How did that happen? All right. Uh, Silversmith saw on Wall Street Silver about a guy who had a silver futures contract trying to take delivery. Comics gave him the runaround until they settled for cash. They don't have the silver. Well, um, actually, there it's not easy to get a thousand ounce bar, and, he, and those aren't really meant for delivery. The only ones you can get those is through special deals. SD Bullion um, was able to obtain some. So if it's just a guy on Wall Street Silver, that really doesn't surprise me um, that he didn't get it. Uh, um, but my guess is they do have the silver, and SD Bullion proved it when they bought a whole bunch of them and sold them to the public. Um, because those those big thousand ounce bars are just not meant to buy uh, from directly from Comex or whatever. It's a big deal and it's expensive. Uh, so. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. I'd have to check. I'd have to read the post to see exactly what kind of runaround they got on it. But anyways, let's see here. All right. Aaron's and others. Watchlist Carlson. Never selling. My grandchild is uh, going to have lots of silver bright and shiny days. No worries. Just lay back and watch Grandpa stack silver for your future. My grandbaby days will be full of nothing but silver beer and beaches. All right. Very good. Saving for your future generations. Nice. All right. Johnny B says, I'm from Ohio, and I'm surprised Mike DeWine got rid of the tax, seeing as he's the one who implemented it in the first place. Nothing but a globalist rhino. Yeah, it is kind of interesting. That happens. How long has he been in power? Carlos Danger, they aren't meant for delivery, but they are meant for manipulation. If Apple stock traded like that, it would not break $20. Uh, well, yeah, I mean... And the thing is, is, you know, the stocks are different than commodity trading. Um, you know, pork bellies, um, or, orange juice futures, all that stuff is there. There's so much. I mean, that whole futures market, the short, all the shorts, the longs, all of it is it's crazy. I'm glad I'm not in that world because why would I want to buy these shorts and longs and representations that, you know, there's not enough of the physical to back the um and I'll talk about that in, in, the, in the video today about uh, the silver squeeze movement. But you're right. Yeah. Timothy Whittington. Cool. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bill Dell. I want, a, I want a reasonably priced electric car. And we'll need lots of silver for this to happen. All right. There you go. Very good. Yeah, I love my pork bellies. There you go. How many people are going to cash out for pork bellies if they buy pork bellies, right? Ah, oh, very good. <clears throat> Let's get back into the danger zone here. A skull stack says, does this mean lower premiums for us? I hope so, but I highly doubt it considering the bullion dealers got us used to paying these high premiums. Well, some say they're starting to come down already. Um, but yeah, we shall see how, what happens um, as we go through it. Silver Wolverine, but I bought all the but I thought all the silver mines were dried up. Pump out the silver and increase that supply, and then when people start selling the dealers, will be overloaded. In my opinion, yes, indeed, crazy. Thank you, Silver Wolverine. Are you as smart? As a silver stacker, whatever news they pumping, then prepare for the opposite. Means shortages are coming. I'll be buying all the way down or up. They're printing fiat faster and faster. Six trillion coming before this year ends. So one thing's for sure, they will definitely print a lot more money.
for the silver. We've seen that play out on the um, on the debtclock.org. Yes, indeed. All right, very good. Ah, let's see. <clears throat> Rocky Superstar, like, last. Thank you, Rocky. Appreciate you, brother. Sal, the Libertads are beautiful. Yes, they are. They're they're slow. They're pretty much one of the one of the best looking um, bullion coins out there. I think. That's yes, indeed. Raymond says the missing read are sharkflation, are shrinkflation in action. Less is more. Up is down. Peace is war. George Orwellian. George Orwell will be proud. There you go. St. Duck says, I wonder what drove the 74 cent silver price drop this morning. Then it just jumped right back. Nothing to see here. Hmm. Could have been a glitch. I'm not sure. I wonder how long that lasted. All right. Don't wait, people, says Jim M. Do not wait. All right. Well, hey, you never know. I know she would not be buying out of fear. Of what you think might happen. Buy based off of your budget. And your understanding of silver. Robert Casanova. Sums it up quite well I think here. Just keep stacking. What I can afford. Waiting on my type 2 eagles. Keep on stacking folks. There you go. Yeah whatever you can afford. Doctor Who is here. Peeking out through the box. Good to see Doctor Who. Hope you're doing well sir. All right. Uh, TNT Cycle says Proposition 13 in Oregon bans the killing of all animals. They want beef to die naturally before they get butchered. Very interesting. Wow. Now I bet you in that same proposition <clears throat> they don't consider a fetus an animal. Uh, even an animal, much less a human being or an embryo. So abortion is probably still legal in Oregon, knowing them. Uh, Lusa Icehard, I asked around, apparently the three-fourths read on Area C is an error and not a security feature. Okay, all right, thank you. I wondered about that. Well, they're all errors, and they must, this must have come in from the same role. I'll have to send them in to get uh, looked at. That's T the Silver Stackers here. Good to see T the Silver Stacker. Welcome. All right. Good morning from Peter Grace from the 141st, 141st degree parallel, South Australia. Frosty morning there. All right. It is winter time in Australia right now. Truth lives. Gold, man. I won some. There you go. I'm with you on that, brother. Mark Bachman. They're not the first. They won't be the last to overproduce this silver because there is a shortage. We're not out. But it's definitely a shortage due to demand. All right. Shortage of products. Silver products. But not silver itself. Investors will quickly catch on about the amount of silver starting to be produced. And they want to invest more heavily. And the price of silver and gold will start to rise again. All right. We shall see. Very well could be. Uh, silver... Smith says, Comex asked the guy for transport and delivery instructions and gave them the Loomis truck address, did everything they asked, and they said no delivery for North America. Wow. Interesting. All right. Hello, Platinum Beast. Good to see the Platinum Beast is here. So, Silversmith, it sounds like you got the runaround there. That is very strange. Okay. Um... Good afternoon to Dove Season 91. <clears throat> Welcome. Richard has a silver shortage. He wants more. All right. <clears throat> so Dove Season, I gotta, I gotta do this. Even though we haven't done a push-up challenge in quite a while, <clears throat> I tell you what, I'm gonna start it off with a push-up, but I'm gonna initiate the uh, super chat push-up challenge. And uh, so what it will be is if you do it by PayPal. It's 50 cents a push-up, 50 cents a push-up for PayPal, and a dollar per push-up on, um, 
on the um, on on um, on super chat. So here we go. Let's start out though. Let's make it happen, Captain. Uh, gotta do it. Gotta get in shape here. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. All right, one extra. And the reason for that extra, oh, thanks, Cheap Network Now. I appreciate that. He posted a link to the PayPal. Appreciate that, sir. Um, that extra push up was uh, in honor of. Uh, um, the veterans who served, and uh, as a public service announcement for those who um, know that many veterans come back and have a hard time readapting, and uh, depression is often an issue, and uh, that's the 22 is a number of suicides that we see um, in, um, yes, in a certain amount of time. I'm not sure exactly. So 22, is that's how many, I don't know if that's per month or what have you, but anyways, let's see here. Uh, JM, five push-ups for $10 Canadian. Will do, brother. Thanks, JM. We'll knock them out. Appreciate you, sir. Very kind of you, indeed. Let's take care of them. <clears throat> let's see here. All right. All right, Truthful Troll. Can't PayPal you, you know the trolls. First name and Empire Precious Metals is here. Good to see you, Empire. All right, let's do let's do uh, five push-ups uh, for JM. Thank you. Good to see all you guys. Bob, how many pork bellies equals 2021 Type Two Eagle? I'm not sure. And thanks, Yamir Garcia. Appreciate that, brother. All right, here we go. Five more, real quick. One, two, three, four, five. Six. I did one more for you. I did one more. Thank you, brother. I guess the exchange rate, to, you know, to count the exchange rate. <clears throat> Very good. All right. Let's see here. Thank you, guys. All right. Per day. That's per day. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> Boy, that's a lot. That's crazy. That's a horrible statistic. Oh, man. All right. All right, moving up, we've got uh, Mark Bachman. I would not look for lower premiums. I think initially you'll see lower spot prices, but you will not see lower premiums in my opinion. All right, we'll see. Okay, we'll find out. We shall see. <clears throat> we have a scammer. Let's see. Hello? Hello, my name is Victor Allen, and I'm calling you from Medicare Health Insurance Department. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you doing? May God bless you, sir. I'm also fine. Uh, thank you for asking. You're uh, welcome. Basically, sir, uh, uh, purpose of my call, I just need to inform you, sir. Your old red, white, blue Medicare Health Insurance card is going to be expired. So that's why Medicare Department sending you a new Medicare card. Your residing address without any charge. You're going to send so, me a new uh, Medicare card? Yes, sir. There's three of those. Oh, thank uh, you so much. I appreciate that. Way. Can I get a back brace yes. with it as well? Maybe some knee pads? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, uh, could some you toothpaste? Your old... Yes, sir. We will provide you. But kindly grip your old Medicare card in your head. You want me to throw the old Medicare card away? Is that what you're saying? Uh, no, sir, I'm saying just grab your old Medicare card in your hand. I have to activate and update a new card for you on behalf of your old Medicare card. Okay, now, Neil, quite, you just say something. What do you want me to do with my hand? You said something about my hand. What did you want me to do with the hand? No, sir, kindly grab your old Medicare card in your hand. Put it in my hand? Put the Medicare card yes. in my hand? Okay, all right. Yes. Okay, I'll put it in my hand. Which hand do you want me to put it in, my left or right hand? Uh, sir, right hand. Just grab your Medicare card in your but hand. But I'm left-handed, sir. It would it would be more comfortable if I put it in my left hand. Is that okay? 
Okay, sir. So I'm starting a procedure for the activation of your new Medicare card. Okay. Sir. I, I will uh, get the I'll... Medicare card and 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 just I want to send out this little service announcement. We must represent and yes, understand sir. the 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 little people because little p midgets are, are people too. Okay. Midgets sir, matter. Sir. Okay. 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 Uh, sir, uh, just verify me. How do you spell your first name? Mention on your whole Medicare card. Uh, my first name is. Ted, but you can you can call me Theodore for short. It's spell it, sir. Mention on your uh, let's just do T E D T E D like Ted Talk, except my last name is not Talk; it's Bundy. How do you spell your last name? It's B U N D Y, and I once knew a little person named uh, Bundy too, but it wasn't Al, but he was a dwarf. He he stood at three foot six inches tall, but he was a he was a weightlifter. He could lift up some silver like crazy. I mean, 100 ounce bars clean over his head. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, yes. Sir, uh, below the name, could you see there is alphanumeric letters with number 11 digit ID code? Did so, you say ibuprofen uh, or did you say mud butt? Did you say that I have a serious I, case of the mud butt or jelly butt? Which one? No, no sir. I'm saying, uh, what is your Medicare claim number? My claim number? What is Oh, oh. Yeah, well, shoot. I, I just put the card away. Um, Let me get the card back here. Just a second. I'm going to get the card back, and I'm going to read you that claim number, okay? Um, yes. Just a second. Crap. Where did I put it? Okay, here it is. It is one... Uh, L G seven one L G seven. Did you get that? Midget. Did you get that? Did do you have a case yeah. of mud butt or jelly butt? It's uh, one. Tell me full med. Uh, yeah, one L G seven. Yeah. Then T E seven. Yeah. Read that back to me again, because I don't want to repeat this again. Okay. T E seven. T E seven. That's right. And empire. Yes, yes. And let's do the rest of them for the empire. May the lo empire live long and prosper. Okay. M K seven two. M K seven two. You are making me a uh, bullet. Bullet. What did you say? You are. You are. You have given me wrong ID. You are a liar, man. What did you just call me a liar? I can't believe that. I I I've never been called that before. My name is Theodore Bundy, and I'm not a liar. You, you know what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm talking about, you martyr chode? <laughs> Molecule and midget are brothers. That's right, exactly. He sounds like it is. He is. A, he probably he's in the petting zoo. That's right. Oh my goodness, the Bollywood. Lives matter. That's right, Eric Hoffner. That's right. Mm. Ah, man. All right. Where are we at? Okay. Misunderstood. Hey, Sal, I went to J.M. Bullion, S.D. Bullion, and Monument Metals. To buy the Mexican silver coin, and they are all out of stock. Wow. All out of stock. Yeah, it's crazy. Those Mexican Libertads sell like wildfire. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> Where were we? Wanted to walk into. That's right, Stephanie. We're, uh, we walk, you walked into a scammer. They called me. So we, we like to take calls from scammers from time to time. Although I wish I could um, call them out, um, but unfortunately I'm not able to do that these days. All right, let's see here. MM says um, Goldman Sachs is a shareholder of the Fed, like uh, JP, um, and all those other acronyms he put there. They are tethered to the uh, Bank of International Settlements along with the rest of the world. Keeping the price of gold, silver, and platinum down is critical to their Primacy over the planet. All right. Very good. All right. And let's see here. Very good. Liar man was president. Is president. 
Good to see Brothers Bullion is here. Good to see you. Thanks for good radio, indeed. Okay, let's get to this comment here from Mark Bachman again. <laughs> um, he says here, one must keep in mind that great amounts of silver are will now have to be produced as the entire globe is now headed more green and more energy efficient. This means greater amounts of silver and nickel and copper will have to be produced in order to go green. So now you have investors that are waiting to buy and you have personal people wanting to buy for their own stacks and their manufacturing industries and needing it more is the trifecta. That's very true. Very good point. Uh, and I think that's probably part of the reason why they are increasing production because they're anticipating that demand to come. Because no matter what, that's that's where we're headed. Whether government gets involved or not, that's the that's the way we're going. You're right. Good point, Mark. Eric Hoffner, love the Libertad, Sal. Not the type twos. See you tonight. And no singing. All right, no singing while he's here, right? Indeed. All right. We will try not to sing. Although, you know, I don't know. Crazy, crazy. All right. Aloha Stacker. Hopefully that will bring premiums down. Let's hope so. And uh, see how the demand works out for that. Silver Shrug says, now we need premiums to return to normal. $10 plus premiums on ASCs makes him sick. I understand. All right. All right. Now here's a guy, a new commenter, who was grossly offended by what I said here. Look at this. Some of us really do have schizophrenia. You're making light of one of my mental illnesses like that is very offensive. Well, against uh, an army of shadows, suck it up, buttercup. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, because what I said in no way disrespected uh, schizophrenia, uh, any mental illness or what have you. And I meant every word of what I said, because literally one side of the institution is saying that gold has value and the other side said it doesn't. It's like he's got split personalities, like he's got schizophrenia. And uh, nobody in there, so, and again, you know, I'm sorry that you have schizophrenia. I hope you're getting the help you need, but you need to suck it up a little bit. Don't be a snowflake, all right? I'm not making fun of you. I'm not making light of any mental illness, uh, but that's the most accurate representation of what Goldman Sachs is being. They have a mental illness. I think that's probably pretty good to say. Uh, anyway, so let's see. I thought that was a funny comment. Let's see. Electric Pig Von Fuchengruven says, I think that more available silver is definitely a good thing, and especially since Scottsdale's Egyptian Relic Series just dropped another very limited minted 5 ounce, as well as the upcoming release of the 2021 Congo Silverback. So, yeah, lower... Uh, prices would not be a bad thing for buyers at all. That's right. Exactly. Especially if you see the long term. All right. Very good. All right. All right there you go. That's right. And my, my personality, is people want to know, should they be calling me Ted or Sal? That's right. Uncle Ted or Uncle Ted Bundy or, you know, or what have you. I don't know. All right. Uh, chop, chop. That's right. Doug Cote. All right. All right. We can only make fun of joggers. That's right. That's right. And the thing is, if you can't laugh at yourself, um, then who can you? Who else can you laugh at? You know. Okay. Let's get over here. And Thousand Air Radio. It makes me more excited about the older ones, frankly. Yeah, I hear you. I'm gonna, there's going to be some nostalgia for those old designs. All right. Salavate it was. Uh, let's see. Stephanie, so is silver going up or down? I'm lost. Uh, many of us don't know um, where silver is going from one day to the next. The only way to not be lost, Stephanie, is just to keep on uh, stacking at, you, um, uh, at your own pace. And, hey, it's fun to watch the prices, but no one really knows where they're going to go. Uh, but anyways, but yes, indeed. All right. Very good. Aloha Stacker is here. Good to see you. Aloha. Check out his channel. He's got a great channel. Great guy. Aloha is. Welcome, my friend. Good to see you. Ted Nugent. Oh, Uncle Ted. Yes, indeed. Does Richard Branson make it to Space Sunday? Or is there a glitch? Good question. Oh, man. 
Yes, that'll be very interesting to see if he does make it to space. Wow. Man, all right, very good. Another family feud question. All right, let's see here. William D. Goebel. I said a couple of videos ago that this was going to happen. The time to sell is now because it's going to drop real low. There's no shortage of silver or gold. There you go. All right, William. Yes, we shall see. Thank you. All right, Rodney says, unless you're an end user of silver, as in do more than preserve wealth with it, you'd have to be a brain dead to think more silver coming to the market is good news. Um, yes, well, and that's just it. It's about demand, meeting demand um, for the other uses and, and the like. Um, so I think in that way, that's how it is considered good news. All right, very good. Welcome, guys. A lot of good folks popping in to us now. We've got um, 83 of you now. Appreciate you guys being here. We got a lot of good folks here. Gold Chick is here. Oh, man. All right, very good. Terrell is here. Just stopping by. We're heading out for dinner. Thank you, Terrell. Good to see you. And Clean Money is here. Clean Money is here. We also have, um, I think I mentioned earlier that the Platinum Beast is here. Check out both Clean Money's channel and Platinum Beast channel. Mark Bernard is here, but he's late, but he's here. That's good. Moronic Democrat says, why are they uh, actively shorting gold and silver then? Uh, well, that's just it. Are they really doing that? I don't know. Um, uh, you know, I don't know. It's We'd have to see. but Because uh, if they're shorting it, that means they're betting that it's going to go down, right? All right. Jeff owns you one. Yes, I saw J.P. Morgan semis headed towards the COMEX. Semis. Heading towards the COMEX. All right. All right. God bless you, Sal. Thank you, Triton Stacking. You heard the sneeze? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stacking Point says, I really don't like the Type 2. I'm not as big a fan of it either. Clean money. This is why I never bought into the squeeze. The only thing it's accomplished is making top bullion companies richer. <clears throat> and according to the article you know, I read today, that apparently it did have an effect for the first couple of days. But prices uh, quickly uh, subsided after that. All right. Good to see Silver Loving Lou. Welcome. Good to see you. I'm a squid on silver, says Ranch Dressing. All right. Squid on silver, all right. And Sue Davidson says, while well, I like to think prices will go down, they will probably just raise the premiums, but I'll keep buying until my stack is completed. Slurp, slurp, sneeze. There you go. Yes, indeed. Okay. Just a seeker. So grid down your current digital currency is gone like a fart in the wind. In the wind, that's right. If the grid is down, no electricity. Unless you have a solar array or some way to um, keep it going yourself with batteries, pretty much that's it, you know? Hmm. Okay, let's see here. I, I could, it could just be a scare tactic, says just a seeker. Yes, it could be. Uh, Bob Howard, more silver's coming, so hurry and buy this product while you can and for a slot as soon as it will crash like everything else. Yes. You tell him, Uncle Sal, says Mark B. Thank you, Mark B. Try to do it. Love the silver, says Daryl USA. Thank you, Daryl. Appreciate you. We're running through these pretty quickly now. For me, if I went into space um, in a state of static stasis, stasis, say that slurping. Let me do it. Here we go. Space in a state of static stasis. Uh, I would arrive even after molecular black hole transformations with the same gold as I started. That's right. Okay, although he might be gold plated. Have you heard there's another shutdown happening in Japan? It's a new brand of COVID. Yes, I heard it's a Lambda variety of the COVID. I did hear something about that. They actually stopped the Olympics. There'll be no spectators at, this, at the Olympics. Um, I don't know what to make of it. Um, we have the Delta variant. And I'm talking about this new Lambda variant. And uh, so I don't know. It's crazy. The Pfizer vaccine contains a tiny base plectrum. All right. Interesting. Rescues have pulled a cat alive from the conduct. Really? Wow. 
silversmith. I had no idea. That is amazing. A cat is... I, I hope they find some humans alive there still. That's amazing. I hope they find some uh, survivors. It's highly unlikely now, but I feel bad for those people. Very sad situation. All right, let's see here. Moving on, we've got uh, L. Wentz. Uh, I don't like the new design. They did remove detail from the obverse, which, in my opinion, makes the coin look like a cheap counterfeit knockoff. Um, the bird has a bunch of hints as to a redefined role for America. That's right, a bird has lost most of his glory. That's right, there's no shield, no banner, no arrows, and his claw. None of the traditional account... Uh, accompaniments we have been associated with American coinage. It's almost as if the designer wished to push a new vision of America as non-exceptional, non-glorious. And that's how I take it, too. It really does seem like the eagle is defeated and it's coming in for a landing instead of rising up. You know, it's just, it's just, it's just crazy. Um, all right, very good. All right, let's see here. That's right, it's the Lambda, Lambda, Lambda variant. Uh, from Revenge of the Nerds, a tried a little hot stacker. Lambda Lam and Tri Lambs, the Tri Lamb variant. But the Tri Lambs, they were badass. The Tri Lambs were awesome. The Lambda Lambda Lay were awesome. Hey, Miyoshi Bullion is here. Greetings to Miyoshi Bullion. Long time no see. Hope you're doing well. Little Lamb, hey, uh, speaking of Lambda Lambda Lambda, here's Little Lamb. And the Omega Moo, that's right. And the Omega Moo, that's right. Good to see Miyoshi. She is awesome. You guys check out her channel. Always love her background. She's got a really cool background with her on her channel. Yes, indeed. Oh, thank you for the kisses, Miyoshi. She knows I was fishing for kisses. All right, let's see. Moving on. Mark Roberts says, well, if it means silver is going to stay in the $30 uh, range per ounce, I think a lot of people are going to take advantage of it by large quantities. There you go. They very well could. Reminds me of the peace dollar with no arrows. Yes, indeed, that's right. Yeah. I mean, the peace dollar technically was landed, but the eagle was looking straight out. I mean, the eagle was looking confident sitting there. You know what I mean? It's like there's peace. This is a time of peace, but it's a strong eagle. You know, um, I don't know. I'm trying to find a peace dollar to look at here. So I can kind of compare. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> yeah, the peace dollar is looking straight ahead and it's looking confident with the rays of sunlight behind them, you know. Uh, I kind of like that design, you know. it's It doesn't look, the eagle still looks strong, in other words, you know. I don't know. That's just me. Okay. Silver Surfer! Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I believed less than a tenth of everything I've heard about silver just in the past year, um, my head would have exploded long ago. It ain't one thing, it's something else. Silver uh, prices remain relatively stagnant and premiums rise. Nothing to see here. No, I hear you. It's easy to get jaded on these prices. I, I'm, I'm with you on that for sure. Okay. Very good. Uh, nice backside, you say. Yeah, that's right. A nice backside on this eagle. <laughs> a pretty nice backside. I'm all about the Padonga Donk. Yes, indeed. Nice booty. There was one... Um, what coin was it? There was a Britannia that had a nice booty on her. It's pretty nice. Hey, Mickey FC with a second Super Chat tonight. Thank you, sir. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Mickey. With a, a coffee cup in Mudokan, hot beverage there. Good to see you. $4.99. Welcome. Jeffrey Jackson, more silver is always a good thing. There you go. Yes, indeed. Where can we get it? Savoy Truffle, the Type 2 Eagle swooping down to clobber his enemy with a Louisville slugger. <laughs> yes, indeed. Except if it wasn't just a measly little olive branch. And we can't see, we can't see what the enemy is. I think he's adding it to his nest. I don't know. Miyoshi Bullion, whoa! $10 Super Chat number one fan, Miyoshi. Thank you so much, Miyoshi. Appreciate that. You are just awesome. And Gold Chick says, rock. All right. Rock with a thumbs up. Thanks so much, Gold Chick. But thank you, Miyoshi. Appreciate it. All right. And I am currently looking through 90% silver coin collection, looking to buy for a good price. All right. Yes, indeed. I've done that, too. 
and I've offered them a good price. I've I've given over spot for um for that stuff before. Yes, good stuff. All right. You guys are great. Thank you so much. Richard Lovett, the more silver the better. Love my poor man's gold. All right. Yes, indeed. All right, using the precious metal verifier to test silver pandas video. Uh, the Sigma Metallics precious metal verifier emits radio waves into a metal object to measure its resistancy, uh, resistivity, and determines either a pass or fail result. It costs around 800 bucks. Another analytical method utilizes X-ray fluorescence, such as an Olympic gold expert analyzer, which costs around $8,000. They're also radioactive. Uh, for sure. So yeah, be careful with those. Hoosier Stacker is here. Good to see you, Hoosier. Welcome, my friend. Good to see you. Welcome. Sorry I missed uh, your Stacker's Gathering. Thursday nights are mostly, uh, I got this band church stuff going on that night usually, but you also check out Hoosier Stacker. He does the Stacker's Gatherings, and he posts videos as well. Good stuff. Good to see him. All right. Hmm. Truthful Troll says, Sal, we love you. Just don't tell anybody. All right, I won't tell a soul. We'll keep it to ourselves. Yes, the 2014 Pruth Britannia has the sweet gal glutes. Yes, that's right. Nice booty on that. It's very cool. I love it. I love it. All right. I'm all about the booty, I must confess. Especially if it's on a coin. It'll be a win-win for your opinion price-wise. My LCS is paying 18 times face, which I sure don't want to pay, but also don't want to... Uh, yeah, I would say probably uh, take spot price and maybe add a very slight little premium to them or just give them spot price for it. I think that's fair. Usually, if they're paying whatever spot price is, maybe a little bit more. A win-win for them would be uh, a little over a, a, a little less than 18 Maybe seventeen fifty or it just depends on what spot. I haven't done the calculations on it to see what this, what that is. But anyways, all right. Bitcoin for life. Love your channel. Okay, let's see. This is a pretty long one. Let's see here. Uh, and pardon me, I may not read all of this, but I'll try to get to uh, a, a portion of it here. Let's see here. And. Let me get to this where I can see this here. Uh, he says, hey, mate, love your channel and always enjoy the uploads. While it's agree with much of what you say and resonate with you in many topics, I would like to add something to the video where you refer to stocks and cryptos as highly speculative assets. They are to some extent, but crypto is different in that it has functionality too. We can invest and hopefully profit from both stocks and cryptos, but we cannot transact with our stocks. And all these uh, Bitcoin and others, genuine cryptocurrencies offer an alternative to the traditional financial system. That's right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they sure do. Uh, and I have no uh, qualms with that. But the thing is, it's it's almost uh, the thing that makes it kind of impractical to use it as a currency is that it is not stable because the price fluctuates. It's lost, what, half of its value in the last couple of uh, weeks and months here. So, um uh, it's, 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 um, it does have utility, but it's like a wild, wild west of utility. Some places will, will accept Bitcoin, uh, and maybe some other ones, but nonetheless, your comment about it being untraceable, that's not true. Um, it is, uh, it is, I mean, Monero might be untraceable. I think I've heard about that and maybe Pirate Chain. I don't know anything about Pirate Chain. But most of them are on the blockchain, and they have a ledger system. But again, uh, Monero, I've heard, doesn't. Uh, is, it is truly uh, untrackable. But even that, I kind of question. But you make a good point. But anyways. All right, let's see here. Very good. Moving ahead, uh, we got Chris Paris says, uh, I am sure they are going to put it all on the market. They're not going to put it all in the market. They're going to hold some of it back as you know silver is going to rise in price. They're going to sell only what they need to for now to keep their business going. I've often wondered about that, what these miners do. What do they keep back? Um, and 
See, these miners are not refiners. They basically create the Dore, right? Bars. Then they set to the refiner, but yeah. All right. I'm very good. Let's see. Let's have another slurp of some coffee. And while we're here, come on. All right, coins of disease, sales, gals make the salivate metal channel great again. That they do. And he also says surplus always has a negative impact on spot prices under normal circumstances. Yes, that's true. The thing is, is are we under normal circumstances? That's the question. All right. Carlos Gonzalez, Ocel, beer bug, fear mongering is beneath you. All right. Well, I don't think it was... Uh, Using fear mongering, I'm just talking about the impact on the silver mining. And apparently, we haven't escaped that impact completely yet. All right. Junk Finger Jimmy, bring it on. More in my safe. There you go. All right. Yes, indeed. Very good. Okay. The Platinum Beast. More silver is always coming. Glad to hear it's ramping up nonetheless. There you go. Thank you, Platinum Beast. All right, very good. And Grow Mechanic on this one. Silver Squeeze Movement makes the news. Grow Mechanic got number one. Good job, Grow. You did it. You got number one. And Silver Honda says infinite, infinitely last. All right, there we go. He's claiming the last. He couldn't get first, so he's got to get the last. Uh, Got Steam says two in a day. Nice work. Well, that's my normal. I'm usually doing two a day. But uh, I may slow down a bit some later this month. I don't know. Or, or I don't know. Silverback Stacking. Hello, fellow stackers. I'm only into Constitutional Silver right now. I've got a tube of dimes today. All right, nice job. Good job. All right, very good. Calvin Cooper, good rainy evening, Sal. Good evening to you, Calvin. Always appreciate you. He's usually in on the morning with the morning video. But yes, indeed, he is here. All right, thanks, Calvin Cooper. And where are we at? Let's see here. Thank you, Calvin. All right. Savoy Truffle, <laughs> Beavis, he said, member. <laughs> he said, member. <laughs> Shut up, butt munch. All right. The Raza Manaza, hey, gang, hope you all enjoy the live stream. Hey, Cell, are you replying to my comment? Sorry, I'm not present. We are. We are. We definitely are responding to your comment. And R.A. Polehammer says, the whole N.W.O., Great Reset must be planned, I think. They are definitely planning this Great Reset for sure. Silver still stuck at 26 bucks. Sure is. Hanging out at 26 Way too crazy. Silver Wolverine. Will it make news when silver is down under $20? Uh, that's a good question. I'd be very interested to see. Um, I think if the community... I think that would be a good test of their stick to -itiveness. If membership increased when silver goes under $20 an ounce for silver squeeze movement and they grow like crazy, then yes, they will make news. All right. Go Maple. Anybody here collect old commemorative half dollars? I don't. That's too rich for my blood. But they're nice. The Lafayette dollar is nice. I'd like to have one of those Lafayette dollars. They are expensive. All right. Yeah. The, this scammer called me a liar. I got triggered on that one. I was really genuinely upset. He called me a liar. I, 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 I couldn't believe it. Then he hung up on me. That's the only thing that made it worse when the scammer hung up. I never get these scam calls this late at night. Because I can't call them. I really want to call them. All right. Very good. All right. Hey, Aaron Silver and other watch list Carlson has joined us here. Um. Uh, which I appreciate. He says, um, 
Love this channel. Good information. Someone who doesn't take advantage of his subscribers, doesn't fear monger, and got to have a clickbait silver sensation drama of the channel. Well, thank you, my friend, Aaron. I appreciate it. I try my best to keep uh, things um, even-handed and um, in the like, but, uh, you know, just, but it's one of those things where, yeah. So I appreciate that very, very much. I try my best to keep um, things on ground level, so to speak. Thank you. 29 push-ups now. All right. Well, hey, yeah, we'll put the... Uh, We'll put the challenge back up again. What do you think? Uh, the challenge for, um, what you call it, the dollar or 50 cents on the um, PayPal side and a dollar on the Super Chat side. I touched on that last night. Great reset this time around. It'll be 100 folder worse, 100 fold worse than in the past because we're now global. Yes, indeed. That's right. Very true, very true. All right. And let's see. Thomas Garza says, I love the eagle on that $1 coin. Thank you so much. Indeed. Uh, and Silver Wolverine, I love silver, but not overpaying for it. That's right. Understandable. Completely understandable. All right. Gold Chick Vibafell, you would be muy sad if you knew. All right, very sad. All right, let's see here. Mark the Silver Stark, I get on Reddit Silver, but not Wall Street Silver. Can't stand job of the Silver, Hut's Attitude. All right, I'm not sure who that is, but thank you, Mark. Let's see here. I love seeing creeping porn lawyers go to prison. Yes, and Avada, yes, indeed, that guy was praised by the media uh and i mean he was thinking about running for president they were all in his corner then look at that how quickly they fall he tried to rip off nike apparently went to the bohemian grove party it was awesome very cool nice did they do the line dancing there i'm not sure yes indeed terry i'm out of i you know what it is terry i'm a little out of pep i'm a little tired this evening and it's because I didn't get an email from Terry79. If she just sent me an email that says, that says, Sal, I love you. If she would send it, that just said that in an email, I've got my email inbox open, ready for it. And that will really put a pep in my step. Okay, just, uh, just saying there. All right, let's see here. All right, all right, moving up. Rocky Superstar, I love silver, silver loves me. Hi, Terry, I love button, hello, Rocky. Yes, indeed. Stephen Trump says, as the famous philosopher once sang, just keep stacking, just keep stacking. There you go. Avenatti openly wept at his sentencing. Is that justice? Yes, and it is nice to see him weep for two and a half years. Uh, Ra, Paul Hammer, hey, Sal, cool with the comments. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you, yes, well, I've been doing this for a little while. And uh, for sure, something funny. All right, Terry. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate that, Terry, in blue. But Terry, it would mean even more if you sent it to me via email. I've got the email open just so that I know that you exist. No, I'm kidding. I, I tease her because she never sends emails to anybody. All right. Where are we at? Back here. Cash Cat says, have a great stream. Well, thank you, my friend. We Silver Wolverine had a stream the other night, too. And I was thinking it was a different kind of stream, but it was a different kind of stream. All right. Uh, and he paid $175 for his laptop to get rebuilt. Added an SSD hard drive plus Windows 10, my HP laptop. That is only two years old. Out the hard drive took a dump. Oh, that hurts. Wow. Is it, oh, That should be under warranty. Yeah, the SSD hard drives are much better. Man. Time for me to put more silver in the vault at the bottom of the pool. Good night, apes. All right, thank you, Silver Smith. I appreciate you being here, brother. Definitely appreciate you. Thank you again. I always appreciate Silver Smith. Have a good night. All right. Very good. Moving up to the USA, sell Dore bars to Russia or melt coins. Hmm, don't know. Don't know about that one. Richard Metcalf, another great report, Sal. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Appreciate you watching. TT, your price prediction of $30 to $35 to silver ounce already came true. Show me one person that is selling below and let me know so I can buy more cheap. No, understandable, but I'm talking about spot price. Spot price. 
Bill Dell says, how long do they think they can knock silver down? Look at the bright side. We get it cheaper. When it happens, keep your nerve. It's like a poker game. And that's just it. You know, um, I don't think it takes much for people to get um, education is the key. And if people are educated on silver, whether or not you believe, well, and that's just it. If you educate people on silver, it would be fool to think that uh, they manipulating the price down would with the opposite effect of what they want. You would think it'd be the other way around. All right, let's see. Funny how Wall Street Silver came along and stirred the pot, leaving us with higher premiums. The law of unintended consequences strikes again. Yes. All right. Thank you, thank you. HVAC Residential Basic is here, heading home hands free. That means he's not. He has his hands on the steering wheel. He's not. He's not. Um, yeah. He's still driving. He's not driving hands free. He's got his hands on a steering wheel. He doesn't have his hands on his phone. All right, there we go. All right, let's see here. Exciting indeed, says Milt Steele. Yes. Mr. West, told you the sale's over. All right. Oh, JM, very nice. JM, that is an uh, evangelist for silver, if I ever saw one. JM gives all of his customers a gift of silver ounces at Christmas and New Year's. Well done, JM. Wow. Very cool. All right. Maria Chen is here. Maria. Hello, Maria. Feed three people at McDonald's costs one silver dollar. That's right. Yes. True. It's a good way to put it. Bezo 816. JP Morgan actually commented, I'm rubber, you're glue. Keep doing what you do. There you go. Yes, indeed. Sal, please check your chart for Cousin Barbara. She loves that. Yes, indeed. Let's see. Yeah, well, the markets are closed right now, but we will definitely check it. All right, there we go. Who else is curious? Says Glenn D. How much, how many ounces of silver does uh, stack Sal have? Stacking Sal have? Hey, 10 to 20,000. Wow, not anywhere clear, not anywhere, not anywhere close to a man. I know somebody that does have between 10 to 20,000 ounces, and he's a member of this community, for sure. Fart Brown Kisses from Troy Tucker. Hey, Troy, all right. All right, let's see here. Terry, Sal's tired. How are you? Yes, indeed. That's right. I'm tired. I could use a nap. Or push-up, super chat push-up challenge. Use that new church of Philadelphia with dubs. If we get three to ten times, it will change the lives of a lot of apes. Yes. I haven't stopped buying silver, gold, and platinum to the moon from coins A to Z. That's right. Yes, sir. Luce, Lusa Iceheart would downgrade to Windows 7 if he could. Yes, indeed. All right. And Windows 11 is coming out, I think, in the winter. Windows 11 is around the corner. It's going to look a lot like... Uh, Windows 11 is going to look a lot like uh, the Apple operating system. Silver Turtle 65 is here. Good to see Silver Turtle. Welcome, brother. Hope you're doing well. All right. Sign up says, I agree. The silver price is not up to the consumer. Misguided they are. Thank you, sign up. And Silver Surfer, the squeeze movement, makes me think of x lax Oh, <laughs> my goodness gracious. Oh. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's see. Strong man, silver and gold. Happy Friday. Just getting here. Good to see you. Welcome. Glad you're here. If we have six more thumbs up, that'll get us to 100 likes. Yes, indeed. All right. Just a seeker. I don't have any more spare cash. That's all right. All right. Let's see here. Have a great weekend, says the Silver Sliver. Have a great weekend, sir. Glad you're here. All right. Hello to you all. <coughs> now, there's a sneeze that I told you about at the very beginning of this live stream. Um, that was that I thought was coming and was just not there. Well, it finally came forth. All right. It'll be 30 seconds before you guys say bless you, if anybody says it at all. I don't know. It may not happen this time. I shouldn't expect that. I shouldn't. Lusa Ice Art. 
It was a recent article in Business Insider talking about that grocery stores and distributors are engaging in market speculation by buying large quantities of cleaning supplies. Wow. Now that is interesting. Um, uh, canned goods and frozen meat in preparation for increased demand this fall and more failures in the supply chain. Think about that for a minute. Grocery stores are trying to build a hedge to protect themselves. Well, you may remember I did a video about uh, large storage facilities for precious metals too. And in the case, in the case uh, something like this happens again, for whatever reason. Thank you, Silver Patriot. All right. And Mark B. blessed me and said a strong man. And Richard did too. And Lusa. Lusa did as well. Thank you, guys. All right. Very good. Savoy did. I did not no Kegels when I sneezed. I did not feel my sphincter move at all with that sneeze, Hoosier. Although I really wasn't paying too much of attention to what my butt muscles were doing, to, to be honest with you. So therefore, if there were no Keglers, then that means it was no mud butt occurring either. So, all right, very good. Donald, let's see here. All right, very good. Mestro99 says, you mean lamestream news. That's right. Yes, indeed. That's what I meant to say. The lamestream news media. All right. Okay. Eric Hoffner says, thanks, Sal. Thank you, Eric. Is Eric still here? Can I sing now? I want to know. I need to know if I can sing. Punchbowl Turd. The last time they did this, they claimed it wasn't them and just a scammer. I scored a few bucks off that post, but that post had a lot of lingo of what pumpers were saying pre-2011, led by Max Kaiser. That's right. Terry said, hi, Sal. All right, look at that. Terry actually said hello to me. Yes, indeed. All right, very good. All right. All right, no sphincter movements at all. A little quiver in the dark. That's right, a little quiver in the dark. Hi, Steve said, it breaks my little heart that they're so late to the game, but that's... But not that, that it's a game, my friend. They missed some great buying opportunities in 2018 and 2019. True that. True that. The best time to buy is when it's unloved, for sure. Now, everybody loves silver. Even Terry loves it now. Terry's not said anything bad about silver for a full week, which can we can automatically deduce that Terry indeed does love silver. Thank you for the thumbs up. We have 102 now, 90 watching. Uh, there's probably somebody out there who has not thumbed this video up yet, I'm sure. Right? Size 9, Sal Silver Show. That's right, indeed. Uh, the Silver Show. I've got silver in my hand right now. I'm, it's clinking, in case you haven't heard it. I haven't done a poll yet tonight. I'm going to try to think of what to poll here. Um... um uh, 103 likes. Here we go. Let me think of a poll question here. Um, oh, let's see here. Let's see how many people, let's see what kind of faith you people have in me, all right? Uh, by me, that's talking about Uncle Sal. I don't know if I can edit this. Okay, I can't edit the poll, so I can't say Uncle Sal. So, if, if who would you trust with your silver uh, to hold your silver? Would you trust me or would you trust you? That's right. There we go. That's a... Let's see how many people have that much faith in me. You know what I mean? Okay. The Platinum Beast. The question is, how long will the movement last? Well, if we're talking about my bowels, then you might ask the question, can I buy a bowel? I don't know. What kind of pull is that? A Rocky Superstar. Yeah, I just, it's a little question off the top of my head. You know what I mean? I couldn't think of a thing else. You know what I mean? Silver Turtle says Terry 79 can hold my silver and play with it there. <laughs> All right, very good. All right, me as in me or me as in Sal. Me as in me as in Uncle Sal. I voted me. All right, uh, very good. All right, well, shoot, I guess this is not good because uh, 
everybody's going to say me as in they're talking about their first person. So this is not good. This is a tainted poll. Tainted poll. Oh, it's a tainted poll. Because I'm reading this as, who would you trust to hold your silver? Me, as in, I'm the one that made the poll. So me is Uncle Sal. You is you, the, the viewer. So now they're starting to shift. It's going from 70-30. It's starting to shift around. So you is me, and me is you. Okay, all right? Have we confused you enough now, folks? I love this. I love this kind of um, androgynous, um, oh, vague... Uh, kind of gray area. Uh, who's on first? Exactly right. Who's your stacker? Who's on first? Who's on first? So let the poll speak for what it is. I'm inter interpret me as Uncle Sal. I am you. You are me. We are we. That's right, Terry. Druid. Yeah, you bought you bought some with screaming premium. Sucka. Addendum. Quietly absence is not an error. It's the U.S. Quality absence is not an error. It's U.S. Mint. That's true. Good point. Recount on that election. That's right, Silver Patriot. Recount that election. We need to do an audit on this thing. Global Warmer with a thumbs up on this. Thank you, sir. Lucas Galagos. And after all this, only one thing is up. Premiums. All right. Hoosier demands a recount. Stack on stacker says Daddy Silver Bucks. Oops. I can't believe I did that. Thank you, Daddy Silver Bucks. Stack on. Gas Grill is here. Good to see you, Gas Grill. Why do you park in a driveway and drive on a parkway? Ask Stephen uh, Wright that question. Yes, indeed. All right. I have a decaffeinated coffee table. Audit the poll. That's right. So let's see here. People, all right. So uh, so far, 66% of you would trust Uncle Sal to hold your silver. And only 34% of you would trust yourselves to hold the silver. All right. There you go. That's the result so far. Druid. Nice Titanic in the upper right-hand corner of the WS silver heading. Sink to the kill of the anti-wage taxation. The Federal Reserve granted dominance wealthy on board. The symbolism is uncanny. All right. Mm. Ah. We're now drinking water out of this coffee cup. Ah. And we are now refreshing the comments. We've reached the top of that portion of them, but we have more down here, and we're going to get to the more here. We're going to see what we've got here. We're almost to the bottom of the last comments here. Hashtag silver hands from size nine. Good to see Nathan Locke is here. All right, good to see you. All right, let's get into some of these from two months ago. Uh, glutamate sulfate. I trust uh, more the common criminals on the streets than elite bankers and government. Yes, I know. I hear you, brother. This is on why we're not to store your gold and silver video. Stacking points. That sucks. The government are just a bunch of thieves. You think they could finance all the stimulus with all the money they steal instead of taxing us. Well, not only that, but they can't even spend it fast enough. They still have stuff left over from the first um, relief package. Pat Riley, a private storage company, gets spied on by an informant, a.k.a. The spy, the spy plants evidence. Bam, everything there is gloomed on to any private no more. Thieves will never find my stack. That's right. Charles Taylor, I bet the whole setup was an FBI operation. I can assure you savvy criminals do not use services advertised for criminals. The only people that will lose everything are the small rebels trying to avoid the government and stupid low-level criminals. That's right. All right. All right. Let's see here. Where are we at? Ah. Uh, mm, let's see here. Unlimited knowledge says the FBI breached the privacy of private citizens and confiscated all their goods as if everyone was a criminal. Not a good sign. Exactly right. Remember, they can do uh, they can do like this. They can go after all of us one day. One day. 
we would then think of us all unsuspicious and never did something wrong. But it would be too late because it would be told all over the place and reputation will be lost. Time to wake up. Yep. That's right. Bill Rundle, we declared as Morgan traders, ASC forever or die in clad coinage purgatory. All right. Dick Trickle, don't worry, only Americans from the Clinton administration make billions of fake gold bars, store them in Fort Knox, and sell them to China. This is on the it's a person that relying on Chinese bars for delivery video. All right. All right, there we go. Press one for slurp, press two for guitar. There we go. Hey, I like that. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Um, 68% of you out of 44 votes would trust me to hold your silver. Boris Bulliak says, Okay, Sal, I get your point. It is well taken about even worse than what we thought the Mint's dealer bulk purchase program. Uh, the government and Fed have been doubling down on stupid even more than the onset of the pandemic. The two big to fill banks and mega corporations rule our world. They get the bulk of the 1.9 trillion stymie while we uh, while the great unwashed gift 400 billion. The government is pal the Fed could care less about anyone with a bank account smaller than 100 million. The sooner one accepts this and goes with the flow that's been laid for the better you are. If you can if you can beat them, join them, play their game. Thanks again to JP and Comex for subsidizing silver for me. Thanks a lot. All right, there you go, Boris. All right, thank you. And let's see here. All right, that's uh, Monty says on this video again, too. I don't know how I missed some of these older comments, but we're going to go back and get them. This is how we do it. Monty says, this sale exactly, is exactly the reason why I personally stopped buying bullion. Modern coins, namely eagles or maples, for stacking. As far as I'm concerned, this moves to stack and buy um, modern metals at a reasonable price, meaning low premiums, ended somewhere in 2017 and 18. The game is over for me now because it's obviously rigged. In my mind, almost all the big dealers are in compl complacent in the scam. Well, and again, this is talking about collector coins. So obviously they are for the collector coins. Now the the uh, bullion stuff, that's been uh, been an established, and I'm actually defend that system because there's no way the mint can process all those millions and millions and millions of ounces efficiently. So they have to outsource it, and they charge a premium for that. Um, so yeah. All right. Richard Lovett is not drinking coffee, just old-fashioned Miller High Life. All right, very good. That's a good beer. I kind of like it. Peter Burenak says, They can keep it. Boycott the coin. Screw it. Dealers under shills. Unfair advantage. Make them eat the coin. I consider them illegitimate anyway. Under an ounce BU, I consider them junk silver. I would rather have actual constitutional. Consider them as 1804. Nobody has one. So what? All right. Very good. All right. And then back to this video. Thank you, Peter, for your comment. Uh, JD, even family has to agree uh, to disagree sometimes. That's right, exactly. It's a beautiful thing called acceptance of the individual, holding a view that creates considerable stress for one to attempt reconciliation. All right, keep on keeping on, says the silver sliver. That's right. Thank you, sir. Uncle Sal, the man, the myth, the legend. Probably more myth than anything else. And barely a man. All right, very good. And let's see here. Silver Turtle, um, I, if the scammers call me, I'll take the scammer call. But uh, if they don't, um, I have to call them out. And the apps I use don't seem to work anymore. Uh, they're not reliable. Or they maybe they put a stop to them and made it to where we can't dial out. As I've tried it. I even try to call my own phone with it. And it just doesn't work. I'm not finding it. found the legitimate app. Because I don't want to use my personal phone to call them out. Thank you, Truthful Troll. Appreciate you being here, sir. Have a good evening, my friend. Yes, indeed. Mark B says, hey, Sal. Hello, Mark B. Good to see you. And JM says, great video. Relevant and timely as usual. Keep up the great work, Sal. Thank you, JM. All right. 
We need more scammers to call. That's right. We need them to call me. Time for me to head out. All right, have a good night. Thank you, CCT. Appreciate you, brother. Have a good one, sir. Welcome, welcome. Have a good evening. Tim Peter says, Plandemic, not pandemic. Uh, no, I know. Uh, uh, Sourdough Soul says, You did well. It's pronounced Craker. Okay, all right. Very good. Thank you. Craker, thank you. And I wonder if that is Craker. If Sourdough Soul is. Maybe it could be. And if so, good job. You got featured. Several pictures of you. That's, that's awesome if that's the case. All right. Mark Fellows, I started stacking in January because of Wall Street Silver. Now have over 700 ounces. Will keep going for my kids. Will keep going for my kids and grandkids. My eyes are wide open to the fiat. Thank you, Mark Fellows. Very cool. Let's explore. It says you are smart as a silver stacker. Nice. All right. And Aloha Stacker. That's pretty cool. I think it's possible to corner the market, but we need a lot of people. And I think that's right. I think it really would need an, a, a great, we literally would have to get, um, in order to corner the market, how many people would we need? Think about it as a percentage of the slice of the pie. And right now it's about a quarter. And I think before it was like 23%. So if it's a 25%, I would say to have to get between 40%. If we got up to 40% of the silver market, that is where I think we could we could come close because jewelry is a large portion too. If we start biting into those other slices of the pie, then that's going to cause the prices to go up for sure. Yes, indeed. We call silver turtle at 5867-5309. That was the number I called from before. That was a good, good time. It's Michael Phillip. Have a good night, Michael Phillip. I had an application where I could call from that number. Very good. All right. Lisa Bibby, I'm squeezing as hard I hard as I can forward on the silver train. There you go, Lisa. Very good. Nice. Greetings from the Dominican Republic. Hello, La Ruta del Tesoro. Greetings. Uh, all right, thank you so much. Hoosier Stacker is heading out. Check out Hoosier Stacker's channel. Give him a sub and post a comment in the video. Driving to 700 for big event. Yes, you're going to want to. I think I know what the big event is. Let's see if we can get Hoosier Stacker to 700 friendly, 700 subscribers very soon. So, y'all check out Hoosier Stacker's channel and give him a subscription. Let's see if we can get him up to 700 subs. Yes, indeed. Hoosier Stacker. Very good. All right. Yes, yeah, so good to see you, LaRuta. I know somebody that uh, is staying there or was there. They left now, Chuck and Plata. Was vacationing in uh, Costa Costa something uh, Costa Barra, I think is what it is. All right, all right. Dick Trickle says basically uh, what you are saying without actually saying it is that these apes are normalizing the price of silver by buying a lot of silver to make a squeeze because there's a very low industrial demand right now because of COVID. The timing could be more wrong in the movement. Could actually be uh, from investor shilling. Ah, interesting thought. Yeah. Let's see here. All right. Let's see here. And as Welk says, WSS is, is surprisingly amazing. A lot of youngsters getting involved. That's why I think their power will continue. The young apes need only one reason to buy up the silver. I think they have the reason. Uh, that's where I caution them because if that one reason is to try to crush the banks, they are going to be sorely disappointed when it doesn't happen. I think the, the best reason to stack silver is a wealth preservation uh, device. All right, very good. All right. All right, Med Gas Guy, he saw my video here. Um, about the um, unboxing of the Silver Eagle, which got very little views. Um, very little views. I don't mind the Type 2 Reverse as much as I don't necessarily like the missing read as far as a security feature. It makes the coin look defective or something. I agree. 
Yep, I don't like the missing read either. Something very easy to counterfeit and kind of unattractive. All right. All right. Sign up will hold my silver. All right, very good. All right, there you go. I'll hold this. He'll hold the silver. Let's um. It was kind of a defective pull anyway. Seventy thirty. Lower premiums. I dig that, says Inefficient Stacker. Hey, Inefficient Stacker, been a while. He digs it. Thank you, sir. Let's see if we got any of these helpful review. We got a hidden comment here. All right. Oh, we have a few more here. We got. Let's get some of these from three months ago. We're going to work from top to bottom of this stuff here. All right. Coins A to Z on this is a person re uh, relying on Chinese bars for delivery. It says even PSLV is not secure. That's because their business is allegedly holding the silver. Could get into major legal trouble and the government might seize the metal indefinitely. What then? Hmm. If you don't hold it, you don't own it. That's right. Roberto Frederick says, with the pandemic, the economy is in a crash course for Europe and most of the banks are broke, like the Deutsche Bank. We will see what the World Economics Forum is in reserve for that. That's why they want to reset everything, for sure. All right, Brian Peterson says, confirmed shortages in silver are pretty much everywhere. This is from two months ago. My bank bullion dealer is out of stock. Much of my orders placed exceedingly taking much longer to receive. Currently have a gold and silver delivery that's actually gone missing. Um, investigation is ongoing, but I have not been paid back for my loss. Well, that's too bad. I hope by now you got it. That's crazy. Michael Russell says, um, I think the globalist buying up knowing the crap is about to hit the fan. I think it's probably, you'll find that it's a lot of it is from the silver squeeze movement. Gold shoe media. Bitcoin will be hacked. It's a matter of time. Crypto is a setup. Trade it, but don't trust it. All right. Impact the supply on gold and silver video. There's one from the Lincoln 2009. This is an old video. Wow. Mark Hazley, watch this old one. On the 2009 Lincoln Coin and Chronicles set. Good presentation, he says. Most people are unaware of most details of real history. We just use force fed whatever the media has been prepackaged to distribute to the masses for consumption. History is very interesting, but has been repackaged for five minute presentations and often used for political purposes and edited shaped and reformed to achieve their intents. Uh, critical race theory is an excellent example of that. Very good. Yes, indeed. Hello, Fabian. Yeah, we're up a little bit later tonight. We are good to see you, Fabian. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you, brother. We're going back to some older comments here. Yes, welcome. Golden Opportunity, Easter 2021, my Easter message. Beautiful coin, Mexico has a gold libertad. U.S. has fake libertads. Politicians, that's right. A libertard, he says. There you go. Exactly. All right. Uh, Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin is life. The legislation uh, introduced to make gold and silver money again. It says that it is um, um, definitely will help restore power to the people and reinstate metals as money again. We need protection from governments and inflation. And this is definitely one way to do it. Although I also believe in crypto. Bitcoin is another way to do it. All right. Thank you, Bitcoin. It's life. Appreciate your thoughts on that. Good to see you guys. All right. Good crowd here. Saludos a los que hablan español. To everybody who speaks Spanish, good health to you. But what if we speak Swahili or uh, Belgium or or Australian or I don't know. Let's see. Trixie McGee. The only reason why silver went down after 2011 was because the banks are rigged it down because it's the antithesis of the dollar, says Trixie. All right, I guess we have different points of view on that. But thank you. Starting cannabis on the gold and silver rebounds. Signs of economic trouble loom. Three months ago, he says, is that what you call it, economic trouble? The country is in a stink hole due to the policies of this fraud in chief. That's hiding in the basement of the White House. They will be shoving the reset down your throat before the summer is here. Do you miss POTUS Trump? Yes, 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 indeed. And super chat tonight. Oh, man, uh, we had one. Uh, we had two little super chats, Fabian. Uh, for like uh, five and ten. 
So I'm still feeling pretty good. Um, and we've got to, so what I've gotten done now is like since for the super chat, it's a dollar per push up, and for PayPal, it's fifty cents per per push, push, per push up. But yes, indeed. So we had a few, but all right. Let's see here. Race car says. Maybe the government has lassoed the Psyche 16 meteorite and plans on putting it in for harvest. Very well could be. Ah, yes, indeed. Rocky Mountain Bear says that would be nice. However, I don't see the banksters allowing it. The dual the global economy is based on the constant flow of currency. Hurry up and buy. That being said, the gold and silver both eagle have a dollar currency value right at the bottom of freaking coins. They're taxing currency at this point. I wouldn't be surprised if paper dollars were made using aborted fetal tissue. Exactly, Rocky Mountain Bear. Good points all around, for sure. All right, very good. Elvis Korkatub says, if $100 silver, unlikely anytime soon. It will hit 100 easy sooner than you think because they don't understand if $400 trillion is out there and if it wants to preserve wealth, plus once you're paying $25 for buyers, you might wake up. It's a different world today. Just remember, the economy just started to move. It's been two months. Demand is coming big time. All right. Well, and that pretty much did happen. It was pretty big demand. Savage Stacker. Thank you, sir. Good to see uh, Savage Stacker. $10. I'm going to take that as a as a push-up challenge. 10 push-ups. And Venice Joy Joseph with a vibrating heart. Thank you so much. And Richard Metcalf is here. Let's, let's crank out 10 push-ups for Savage Stacker here. Let me get this thing in motion here. Sourdough Soul is here. Uh, right, he's here. Sourdough, stick around. I gotta do some push ups because I want to ask you a question. Sourdough. I got a super chat push up challenge for 10, so let's get these 10 out of the way here. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, I gave him five more. All right, thank you. Thank you again, Savage. Appreciate that. All right. So, uh, huh, that got the blood flowing. Rocky Superstar says, real. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. So, Sourdough Soul, were you the fella that was featured in the um, in that piece, uh, in that article? Um, I'm just curious. All right, Gold Chick's got to go. Thank you, Gold Chick, for being here. Always appreciate you. Later, Chick. You're awesome. All right. JM says that's about a tenth ounce of silver. Jim, thank you, JM. $5 Canadian. And Dove Season matched me with 15 down. So we owe JM five. We'll give him five push-ups. We'll give him, even, even if they're Canadian. Thank you, sir. Artificial, says Savoy. All right. Very good. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We doubled up on them, too. We doubled up on them. We got to get the little blood flowing here a little bit. All right. It is sourdough. So awesome. Very cool, man. That is so cool. Sourdough soul. Awesome, my friend. That is cool. That was a great piece. That was so cool. They took some nice photos of you, showing some sweet silver that he had too, and that was awesome. Uh, Lusa Iceheart, how much would we have to PayPal you to let Terry whip you a few times? Oh my goodness, I would do that no charge, Lusa. I'll take a beating from her, no charge. All right, so um, so uh, Sourdough, do you have a YouTube channel or anything? Let me see here. Uh, I'll have to check you out. And he's on um, the Reddit forum, but they, they interviewed him. And see, the thing is, what I find his story so touching is that uh, he went through the financial crisis, as I mentioned in that video. And, uh, and um, so he learned, he learned a valuable lesson. And so he knows what true money is with silver. And so there you go. All right. Ooh, Rocky Superstar. Oh, $10. Start again. All right. Here we go. Wow, you guys are working. You're working on me. There is apparently a video coming today. It was really fun. There's a, uh, apparently a video coming today. Cool. Uh, whose video is that? Is that your video, Sourdough? Let's see. All right. Rockies. All right, here we go for Rocky. 10, 
Thank you, Rocky Superstar. All right, here we go. Here we go. They're working me like crazy here, sourdough. I do these push-ups for these people. I tell you, here we go for Rocky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right. There we go. Sweet. Oh, sourdough started stacking in 2008. Okay. Reuters has a video. Okay, Reuters is going to have a video on it. All right. Okay. Nice. So, really, sourdough started stacking right when the financial crisis hit. He realized then. And uh, But, yeah, that's something else. Crazy. That is awesome. Hello, Love Button is here. Love Button, good to see you. But if you guys... You guys are going to check out check out the video I posted today, where we uh, um, where sourdough is featured in that. Yes, indeed. Zephiel says the push-ups are fake. Oh man, let's see here. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, wait a second here. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh boy, oh boy. No fakes, no crap curls. I got to do fifty push-ups. From Fabian T. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. Oh my goodness gracious. Thank you, Fabian. Oh boy. Wow. Let me get this. All right. Now, I must confess, I won't be able to do these in a row. I might have to do quick two sets of 25. All right. Here we go. Oh my goodness gracious. Gracious. All right. Magic beans first. Yeah. Actually, I'm out of coffee. Now I'm slurping some water. Thank you, Fabian T. He says, no crap curls. I was going to, man, I can't. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. Ah, oh, man. Ah. Oh. Stretch this out. Get this thing going. Man, here we go. Ah. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, uh, wow. 25. Oh. All right. Oh, boy. Yeah, I had a tiger in that one. Oh. oh, man. There's no way to substitute those curls for uh, for Fabian. That's for sure. All right. Dang. I'm getting a good workout today. Yes, I will be in pain tomorrow. All right. Let me catch my breath on this one. I got 25 more to do. Oh, my goodness gracious. No, Zephiel, I promise you, no knees. I did those straight up, but hey, yeah, I have a workout channel for sure. Man, oh, goodness gracious, Savage. Dang it, whoa. <laughs> he says 10 more. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, guys, you're killing me over here. <laughs> Oh, shoot. We got to stop this challenge. Can, can, Savage, can those be curls? <laughs> can I do the, I'll double up on the curls if you let me. Oh, that's brutal. Can I trade those in for curls? I mean, I got to take these one at a time. I haven't done the curls in a while. It's a 20 pound barbell. And I would do, I would do 10 on each arm. You can do a girl push-ups. I gotta these get these other 25 out of the way here. Let's see here. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright. We have a little bit of fun here. For those for those who are new, we we like to just joke around. We talk precious metals, but uh, we do stuff like this too, so bear with us. Alright, let's see here. 
Let's get this. Zephiel with a dollar fifty. All right. Okay, Z Savage. Thank you, brother. I'll make it worth your while. Well, what am I saying? Make it worth your while. You guys are making it worth my while. So it's, it's all good. All right, here we go. 25 more, then we'll do curls for Savage. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, eleven, twelve. Uh, dang it. Uh, shoot. I am out of shape. 13, 14, 14. Uh, let's see here. Okay, guys, let me see. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. Still on 14. Yeah, I know. Oh, my goodness. 15, 16, 17. Uh, uh. Wow, guys. Dang it. Sorry. Let's see here. All right, I'm getting through it. I'm going to get... Dove season's already got 50 down. He's ready for the pool. Popping cheese curls. All right. Where are we at? 17, right? 18, 19, 20, oh, 21. Oh, yeah. This is going to hurt. Yes, thank you, Fabian. Send Terry from Massage. Oh, let's see here. We talk PMs, torture cell with exercise, scam, scam callers. Talk dirty in chat. Feel the burn for sure. I feel it in my shoulders, especially. It's crazy. Where are we at now? How many have I done so far? I, I've lost count. 21? Am I at 21? Uh, 22? 23? 24? Uh, 25? Uh, 26. Uh, I think. 26. Aussie coin girl says, don't hurt myself. I'm sorry. Pump it up. All right, now. Let me get the curls. I'm going to start stroking out and give us a safe one. Yeah, safe word like pineapple. Exactly. I won't be able to say anything if that, if that was the case. Man. Probably didn't come to this live stream to hear me breathe heavy. Okay. Here we go. Now, for um, I haven't forgot about the dollar forty-nine. I will do that. The dollar forty-nine was from Zephiel. Thank you, sir. I'll do a few extra curls for that. So we promised ten on each side for the curls for uh, uh for uh Savage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. All right, I doubled up on those. That was just on one arm. Uh, uh, Savage, I did ten regular curls and ten hammer curls. So I will do... That's right, Aussie Corn Girl. Pump up the jam. Pump it up, pump it up. That's right. So here we go, Savage. Ten regular and ten hammer on this side. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hammer. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. All right. That I felt that. I felt that. That hurt a little bit. All right. And I've that's where I probably need the most work is my arms. My arms are not very good looking. They're skinny. Yeah, Aussie corn girl said, let me call an ambulance. I'm down there in Australia. Thank you guys for putting up with me. And thank you so much, Fabian. Man, he about killed me. Yes, indeed. Phew. You guys are great. Sorry for the heavy breathing. Let's see here. All right. Wow. <laughs> there we go. Dove season is, is done now. Dove season, man, he's got me beat. He's in shape. He's awesome. Love button thinks I'm massaging my prostate. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I wouldn't even know where to begin on that. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I felt like feel like I'm getting a little bit more toned, but you know, it's crazy. But yeah, those push-ups. I can really feel it in my shoulders this time. It's weird. All right, anyways. Oh, yeah, the coin in the lap of the car video. Yes, and right, well, I'll see coin girl. I like to do it. I'm built like SpongeBob. That's right. It was a team effort. Yes, thank you, guys. Yes. Mark B is tired now. You guys are great. I appreciate you guys pushing me to the limits of my physicality, which doesn't take much, for sure. All right. Where are we at? Okay, all right. Let's see if we got any other new comments that came in here. All right, oh, we did get it. We did have a couple more here. All right, great, my friend. Greetings from the Dominican Republic, says Lauruto del Tesoro. He was in here earlier. I think he, I wonder if he still, I hope he didn't get uh, uh, bored with us. Leave, left, but anyways. Brian says, you're a good man, Sal. Hammering home the point. They shouldn't go overboard investing in metals. Uh, remember my stacking days um, in the mid 80s where I buy ounces of silver only to sell them back at a loss every few months. Naturally, premiums were maybe 30 cents per spot and silver is relatively cheap. If I went up a nickel, that was a lot. It was a daily limit up and a limit down. Thank the Lord for the latter. Granted, I had to, if I hadn't put the money in silver, I wouldn't have had anything and I wouldn't have spent many a day hungry. As it left all those days from a couple dozen. Uh, in 1989, silver maple leaves, I'd have done it right. I wouldn't have overextended myself. Then again, years later, when I developed um, bad habits, I might have blown the stack anyway. These days, I put 50% of my monthly check into metals, and I'm not hungry, got a roof over my head, and have a decent amount of just in case insurance. Well done. Smoking cigarettes is my only remaining bad habit. Stick. With your head and not over it. Well said, Brian. Well said. Very good. All right. Uh, Coach Alpha Elite. No one answered my question. Just bought a like new Golden State Mint Kilo and eight 2021 Kruger Ants for under $1,200. Nice. I think that's a good deal. Seems like a pretty good deal. Wow. Well done. Uh, let's see here. Gold price is good right now. HD is a nice rise. This week here in Australia, over $2,400 now. Wow. $2,414 in Australia for an ounce of gold. Man, that is, can you imagine if that was U.S. dollars? Yes, indeed. Yes, reading it while out of breath, Terry. Yes, La Ruta, appreciate you very much for being here from Dominican Republic. Rex says, still stacking. All right, thank you, Rex. Still stacking. He's still stacking after all this time. Acting like a little stacker, because not stacking is a crime. All right. And, all right, well, I think we're going to, I think we're done now. All right, guys. Hey, I think we're going to call it a night. Um, but you guys have been wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate you all very much for the um, pumping me up here. Literally, you were pumping me up uh, with the Super Chats and PayPal um, and I want to thank you guys for being here and watching the channel and, and enjoying the live stream here, putting up with my crazy sense of humor and all that jazz. So uh, I hope you all have a wonderful evening and uh, 
and a great weekend ahead and multitude of gratitude to you all. And let me leave you with this sage piece of advice. And that is to keep your feet on the stars and keep reaching for the ground. Take care, all. Good night.